This is going to be quite an unusual video about Chernobyl. It's not about death and destruction, but about beauty and life. Wow, I should have brought my fishing gear. <laughs> That's nice. We're just at the river banks of the east of the Pripyat River, as you can see on this map. Yeah, very. Of course, the Geiger counter is vividly clicking as we're nearing the riverside. You can see about two microsievert per hour, despite being close to the water, which is a very good shield and usually of lower radiation levels. But well, we're just a few kilometers away from the nuclear power plant. But for now, let's turn off the click from the Gamma Scout and just listen to what it sounds like to stand here on the river bank of the Pripyat River. Quite a beautiful place, don't you think? Imagine fishing here in summer, having a barbecue, drinking with friends, swimming. Alright, enough with that romantic beauty. Let's grab a seashell and analyze it with a gamma spectrometer later on. I'll just post a video about gamma spectroscopy of all kinds of objects I found this time later on. Ah, uh, the deer. Deer and uh, no, that's, I think that's horse came here to drink. Or maybe it's just deer? Or maybe it's moose? I don't even know. Maybe some of you knows. I think I'd make a lousy forester. So many awesome places around here. Just imagine the huge pike just lurking over there in the water reed. Ah, I'd love to fish it. I don't even want to turn my back on this beautiful place, but, well, it's time to move on again. I definitely want to see this place again in summer. Not too far away from this place, we found this, a church. Well, from the outside it looks like any other building, but let's have a look at how it looks like on the inside. Well, now this is unexpected. This interior totally looks like new. Not like it was abandoned 30 years ago. You can hear the Geiger counters uneasy clicks even in here, because we're just seven kilometers from the nuclear power plant. And even inside the radiation levels are increased. So why is everything in such a good shape?
the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. Hey, that's Greek. In Cyrillic, it would be the a uh and the ya. Yeah. But seriously, it's amazing to find a place like this in a wasteland. Seems like people didn't dare to just scavenge and steal everything here. Seems like they were too afraid of God to steal in the church. So you have all these nice relics. But still, I'm wondering, was this in use? Just some of the things that turn new to shiny. This ceiling painting seems to have set really good last. And that cloth is just too white to be hanging there for 30 years without anybody touching it or more like washing it. great to see such an intact place. I just wish every building was like this, so it would tell the true stories of the people who lived there. This paper says built in 1800, but more importantly it also says written in 2003, and the calendar next to it is from 2006, so apparently people still used to come to this church, despite it being in such a contaminated place. Maybe people even come here to this very day. I don't know, but what a place.